So in this lecture, we want to have a look at the title tag and meta description, understand what they are, how you can change them, and how they give your SEO a boost. So to really understand the title tag and meta description better, let's have a look at a couple of real examples. So as you can see, I've typed into the search box home insurance here. And the first result that's come up is from this uh, website, 123.ie an insurance company here in Ireland. So just a reference back to our previous lecture about URL optimization, you can see that it's 123.ie forward slash their target keyword, which is home insurance. So top marks to them there. But we really want to look at in this lecture, the title tag, which is this uh, here. And then this is called the search snippet. And really, Google pulled this from two places, either one from your copy, or if you set a meta description tag, they'll usually use that. So let's, um, the title tag is really the most important uh, on-page SEO factor. So there's a couple of things that you really want to keep in mind um, when you're writing this. First thing is that you want to front load your keyword in the title tag like they've done here so you can see home insurance is at the very start of the title tag and uh, what you also want to keep in mind secondly is to keep it you know 55 characters or under otherwise it's going to be cut off and won't appear in the search results so you can see here they've kept it short whereas here uh, it's being cut off because it's uh, obviously a bit too long so Make sure all your message is in 55 characters and under. And then finally, you just want to make sure that um, you have a, a different title tag for every page on your website or specifically the ones that you're going to rank for because if it's the most SEO or if it's the most important on-page factor and you haven't thought about it and changed it, tailored it to the page, well then it's obviously going to affect your rankings. So just finally on the title tag, the other place it appears is in the, um, the tab of the browser. And I guess that's good when people have a lot of browsers over to, to click back to your page. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the meta description now. And there's a couple of tips that I have for you on this as well. So firstly, you want to include action oriented language. So you can see here that they've done very well and they're saying protect your home so there there's a call to action there no other words and verbs that you could use for call to action there are things like learn grab discover and um, there are other things you can do and obviously uh, they've done that well here not as well maybe here you know home insurance here they've done it better get 60 euro off not as well here compare cheap home insurance they've done it better there Okay, so the second thing about meta descriptions, what you want to keep in mind is, you know, you want to offer a solution or, you know, to whatever the person is searching for. So, you know, they've done it here. Uh, protect your home, insurance you can count on, see how you can save with a quick online quote. So that's pretty good. See how you can save. It's quick. It's online. It's a quote. So, um that is a good you know, way to entice people, engage them. Obviously, people are reviewing these before they click through, so it's important to think about how you are presenting that you're going to solve their problems. So the other thing to think about as well is the length of it. You want to keep it uh, under 50 or 155 characters and under, otherwise it's going to be cut off. So you can see here that they've done well there. Again, here it's too long, so it's being cut off. Um, so really, there could be something important back there, but I'm not going to see it. Include your keywords as well in the meta description. So they've got home insurance, home insurance, you know, home insurance here as well. Um, so that's another thing to keep in mind. So really, you know, that's the, the title tag, how to write it. That's the meta tag, how to write it. Just remember, you know, don't forget your keyword research. The keyword research is really going to feed into this as well. Obviously, you'll front load your keyword there and put it throughout and synonyms in the meta description as well. 
don't stuff your keyword in there because obviously it doesn't look natural to users um, and it won't click through if it looks spammy. Let's return to my example uh, WordPress page that I'm publishing just so we're clear on how to write the, the title tag and the meta description. Um, so really in order to help with this as well what I'd suggest is that you download a WordPress plugin that's called WordPress SEO by Zoast. And the way that you find this and install it is really go to plugins, add new, and you can search for WordPress SEO by Zoast and install it. Once you've got it installed, this is really what it's going to appear like at the bottom of your page. And so you can see that the SEO title has really been pulled from the title that I've typed in there. Um, so that seems good and in the right amount of length. Then the meta description, you can also type that in here as well. And they've got 49 characters left. So obviously I could flesh that out and work on it a little bit more. But as you can see, I've started with an action word and it's including my keywords as well. So this is roughly what it's going to appear like in the, the search results. Um, what's also cool about this tool is that it does a little check for you against the keyword that you're trying to rank for. So we can see that, you know, it's in the page title, it's in the URL, it's in the meta description. Um, so that's all extremely positive. It's obviously not in the content yet because uh, I haven't written any content yet. But that we're off to a great start in terms of our on-page optimization.